are all set to go. Ten minutes of a super tag team match. And the BC Blondes there. Bruiser Costa, you can see, just taking off his shirt. And Terry Adonis alongside. And that's their manager, Bob Steele. And the referee is Brian Keith. They get all set to get underway. We've got a great set of matches for you coming up today. Certainly hope you'll enjoy them. We'd love to get your letters, too, we might add. If you're ever coming down Vancouver Way, you can drop us a little note. We'd love to send you tickets so that you, too, can come down and be part of the studio audience. Setting in with me today is Jack Lalon from the NWA. Jack, welcome aboard. Welcome to you, Ed. You're doing a great job up here. Thank you very much. Enjoying it immensely. Look at that. We're really getting the action underway. You have Eric Froelich in there. You have action all the way. Exciting performer in there. Eric Froelich, 225 pounds. He wrestled barefoot, you'll notice. That is standing wrist lock there, Ed. I'm keeping my eye on Steele, too. i got to keep watching him all the time. He's down at the, uh, the apron of the ring, not on your screen at the moment, but uh, Bob Steele has been talking to the referee, and in the meantime, looks as though Terry Adonis putting a little pressure on Eric Froelich, and the uh, fans here are a little annoyed at the referee. And a nice tag. Larry Watts running in the ring with Terry Adonis. Whoa! How to break your arm if you weren't careful, Jack. It's a rough sport in there, Ed. It's a very rough sport. And coming up here in Vancouver this Monday, we have a $5,000 40-man battle royal. Some giants are in there. Imagine the weight if we added all the weight up. Oh, 14. David the Giant, 7 feet, about 370, 380. Moose Morosky, 6'4", 300. I could go right down the left. Pondike Mike, big man. What are the ring and support all that weight that's in there? Oh, uh, uh, the ring, they're well made. They oh, have to look be. at that. Eric Krolik getting Bruiser Costa, and he's just picking him right up. The washer, there, it looks like that. Eric was using some jiu-jitsu right there. Oh. I'd like get the people to come down there. and uh, get down to Asher's and get their tickets. They're, they're been really great lately. It saves them a lot of uh, time when they come down the matches, waiting in line up so they can get their tickets down to the Fred Ashers. They'll be open um, all day Monday till 4 o'clock. See, a uh, referee is uh, being distracted a little bit again, and uh, some of the fans are starting to get on Brian Keith, the referee. Tonight, Ed, we're in Clover Cloverdale. We have a little feud going there between uh, Mr. Sergeant Al Tomko and uh, the pro. You've been talking to the pro. I don't know if he's uh -huh. mentioned much about uh, El Tonko. Boy, have they got a feud going. There's no love lost there. I understand that uh, Mr. Pro is going to pay an extra $100 to Al Tomko if he wins that. He says, uh, Mr. Pro says he's going to throw him right over the top rope. There's no way he's going to win it. It's a quite an incentive to him, boy. But we're going to have a match in Cloverdale tonight. Uh, the referee is going to be outside the ring. It's going to be... <laughs> If I was going to referee the match, I'd be outside the ring. Oh, well, the last match we had there was just uh, there was just no way you could control it. So he's going to stay outside and uh, let them go at it. Also on the 20th, they're going to be up in Fort St. John. May 21st, we're we'll at Terrace. On the 22nd, up in Kitimat. May the 23rd, Prince Rupert. On the 25th, in Burns Lake. On the 26th, Grand Isle. On the 27th, they'll be up in Vanderhoof. On May 28th, they'll be in Quinnell. And uh, Giant, the big David the Giant, will be in all these towns. So people get out and see them. We're going to see uh, Giant David a little later on in our program today, too. Andre the Giant was about his size when he started in the wrestling. And uh, <laughs> he's close to 500 pounds now. He's just solid. He's the eighth wonder of the world. And I think this David the Giant is going to be the same thing. You saw on the you tape there, he's fixed there. Steel. See Bob Steele just uh, looking in. He is uh, watching this very, very carefully. And he's been uh, doing a pretty fair job of keeping his eye on this match, but I'm not too sure that the, the fans are very happy about it. Oh, look at this. Eric Froelich had Terry on us right up. The figure four arm lock there. Very painful. Cuts the blood off in the arm. Oh, keep it on very, very much longer. Eric's arm will be right, right to sleep. 
You won't be able to use it. And you can see the pain on Eric Froelich as Terry Adonis just puts that pressure on. Look at Steele, look at Steele. Terry Adonis pulling on that arm and of course tagging Bruiser Costa. Here comes the Bruiser. That's the jukebox. Bruiser Costa. Costa's trying to put the same hold on. The idea in the wrestling is you break down an opponent's uh, one center and just keep working on it. You notice that, have you, Ed? Yes, I've noticed that. Just get work, a hold work, of that one, one work, part that you're work, working on. And work on our weakness. You can see that Eric Froelich has really taken some pressure. The former gymnast. Of course, that Bruiser Costa is no little fella. He's 245 pounds. He's solid, solid, solid. Oh, he's got Eric Pollock down on that mat. The referee didn't see that. The referee's got his hands full with Larry Watts. Trying to keep Larry out of the ring, as you can see there. In the meantime, we get a, a real quickie tag. The hardest job in wrestling is the referee. You can't please everybody. I'm sure, especially when you get four of them in the ring like that. Tough enough with two, but with four, it's impossible. This is why they're Canadian Tag Team Champions here. They work on the same thing. You see this? Adonis is back to the same hole. Just keeps working that arm, working that arm. They call themselves the BC Blondes. Terry Adonis and Bruiser Costa. You see all the mileage of these wrestlers travel? Do they ever? Quite a list of towns there. And, uh, oh. I hope all the restaurants got enough food for Big David. I'll I hate to clean his supply truck. <laughs> Giant David, that we're talking about, as I say, you will see Giant David on this program today, a little later. Actually, Al Tomko oh, is uh, supposed to wrestle tonight, but he's just uh, still hurting from the Brown match. But he'll be he'll be in this battle royal. Oh, Eric Pollock manages to get away. Finally, tag Larry Watts. Larry comes up fresh now and starts to work on Bruiser Costa. Whoa. See, all those chops are legal. Including the one on the face there. The face on when the flat of the foot is okay. Oh. Take that one. Yeah, out press one, two. That's all he That's got. That's a two for. count. Yeah. Boy, I think going, here we go again. We're going to get Eric Froelich in here now. You can just hear that smash way down here. Eric Froelich. There's a lot of action in this, Ed. With a body got... slam. Oh, oh, there goes the ring. Slam someone like Bruiser Costa. The whole building shakes. Oh. Oh, look at this. A uh, little bit of action in the corner. Terry Anonis taking a little bit of uh, punishment from Eric Froelich. Eric gets right back to the heart of the matter and tags Larry Watts. The secret of tag teams, Ed, is fast tagging. Keep a fresh man in there all times. If Costas doesn't get back to his partner to tag there, he's getting pretty tired. Oh! Costas saw that one coming. Backbreaker, Ed. Oh. Backbreaker. And that's it. Ed. One, two, three, and that's all the champions. Over. Thank you very much, Ed. You sure see why they're the champions. Thank you, Jack. We'll get down and see if we can't talk to Bruiser Costa and Tori Adonis. 